Namaste everyone. In today's video episode, we are going to talk about repeat and scan operator. Repeat, the name is pretty self-explanatory, but the scan operator is pretty interesting. Let's see this in action. So, we have a regular observable here, just like our previous episodes. And you know that if I run this, it's going to emit 1 to 5. But what if we want this to repeat certain times? So here, repeat operators comes to the rescue. Just chain repeat here and pass how many times you want the items to repeat. Um, I highly recommend you to pass a number, otherwise it will keep repeating in a loop. I pass 3 here. And let's run. And there we go, 1 to 5 is printed on the console, but 3 times in a row. So now that you understand repeat, let's understand how scan operator works. So we have the same observable here like before. Let's chain scan here. So scan takes an instance of by function interface, which basically gives you two parameter. And you need to return a result. So the first parameter is accumulator. And the second one is next. Um, this name can be anything guys. If you have trouble understanding functional interfaces, then click on the card. And here we need to return a result as well. So let's sum accumulator and next and return. Let's run and try to understand what's going on. And there we go. It prints 1, 3, 6, 10 and so on. If you just give it a glance, it seems like it is adding consecutive numbers and emitting. But it's not. Let's understand using the marbles. So, I am at the reactivex.io website. And this is the same thing we did in the code. This line below represents the emission that we are getting. So, we are calling the immediate item on this line accumulator. So for the first time, there is no accumulator yet. So it emits 1 as it is. Then we get this 1 as an accumulator. Now we have got 2 as the next element. So as per the expression, we get 1 plus 2 equals to 3. And then 3 plus 3 equals to 6, 6 plus 4 equals to 10 and so on. Interesting, right? So there is another overload of scan is here where it takes an initial value as an accumulator. So let's pass 10 as an initial value here. And run. And there we go, it prints 10 first. Then 10 plus 1 equals 11, 11 plus 2, 13, 13 plus 3 is 16, and so on. There is another interesting operator called scan width. If you really want to know about it, just comment below. I'll try to cover it on my IGTV video series. So, which operator was much more interesting, scan or repeat? And if you have any doubt about scan or repeat, then comment below or message me on any of my social handles. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon so that you don't miss the video that we upload every Sunday. It's me to here signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.